Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Here we have a large capacity general purpose rotary tumbler that I just built. Now, I sort of kludged this together on the spur of the moment, so I didn't film the actual build process, but it actually works remarkably well, so I thought I would make this video to present the design, and maybe other people out there can take this basic concept and implement it in a slightly more refined manner. So first of all, I have a piece of old culvert that is the right size to hold a standard five gallon bucket. I welded the culvert to part of an old wheel rim so that I could mount it on a shaft made from a scrap of pipe. This shaft can rotate in some bushings that I made out of scraps of HDPE cutting board plastic. At the end of the shaft, I have a gearbox that I salvaged from an old lawnmower. A lot of push mowers have the self-driving back wheels, and so this is the gear reduction that allows the mower to drive the wheels. Uh, it actually has three speeds with a little lever to shift between them, although I mostly just use the lowest speed uh, and, in fact, I mounted a slightly bigger V-belt pulley on it uh, to provide an even greater speed reduction. Next, I have an electric motor, which I salvaged from an old washing machine, that I used to drive the input of the gearbox uh, by means of the V-belt and pulley. So that about covers the mechanical design. I just welded up a simple frame out of rebar and scrap iron to support the components. I decided to build it with the shaft at an angle so that I could just set the bucket in the culvert and gravity would keep it from falling out. In most cases, I think the angle also promotes better mixing of the contents of the tumbler, although on the rare occasion where the angle may not be desirable, I can always prop up the back end of the machine on a block of wood and hold the bucket in with a bungee cord. Just to demonstrate how this works, here I'm tumbling some common gravel without the lid on the bucket. Given the cost of rotary tumblers these days, especially the bigger ones, I thought my approach of building one almost entirely out of salvage materials might be useful information for other do-it-yourselfers out there. Anyway, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.